This week on Paddle Tales, we're exploring Bon Echo Park. Bon Echo is one of the most dramatic parks in Ontario, and it draws visitors from all over the place because of its stunning rock walls and centuries old pictographs. But before we dive into it, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we have lots more Paddle Tales episodes along with paddling tips coming your way. Paddle Tales is produced with support from NRS, Aquabound, Track Kayaks, Ontario Creates, and Bell Fund. Von Echo Provincial Park is on a stretch of highway that I've literally driven hundreds of times. It looks like it's a fairly small park on the water's edge of uh, Lake Mazinaw. But in fact, there's a whole lot more to Bon Echo Park. Bon Echo Park is on Lake Mazinaw, but it also encompasses a big swath of wilderness on both sides of that lake with tons of extra little lakes, uh, portage routes, great canoe tripping opportunities, as well as just the canoeing and kayaking opportunities that you have on Lake Mazinaw itself. If you're looking for a place to, you know, escape the busy city, this is certainly the place to be. There's uh, miles and miles of shoreline to be explored. There's hiking trails to be enjoyed. Um, you know, fresh air, sunshine, clean, fresh water. There is a lot to offer here in the area. For 25 years, I've driven past Lake Maznaw, Bon Echo, and said to myself, you gotta get out there. It looks so beautiful, you gotta get out there for a paddle. And it's literally been hundreds of times I've passed this place. And finally, 25 years later, I get to play on Lake Maznaw. Hello. How are you doing? Good. What a day for it. <laughs> when you're exploring a new place, it's always cool to get the perspective of someone who knows the area really well and knows the history. And that's why it was cool to meet up with Steve Smart from Smarts Marina. Few people know the area better than he does. Smarts Marina, we're a full service marina. We, uh, we focus generally on, uh, on the tourist season. We're open from April to November. Uh, full service, we have mooring here for your boats. We have a boat launch here for access to the lake. Uh, we have a canoe rental concession here on the lake and a convenience store. So we offer everything for the boater and the area's cottagers. From the tourist standpoint, this is an ideal location to come to. It's been a very active area for, uh, for artists and painting. The rock has been portrayed in various different ways. We're going to see a group of probably over 260 um, native pictographs. And they go back possibly a thousand years when they were applied to the base of the rock. Well, we just turned the corner, having left Smarts Marina, and uh, we're getting into water that you can't see from the road. And so this is all uncharted waters for me. Um, I'm not really sure what, uh, what we got on this lake. I do know we have about, you know, probably three to five kilometers of paddling to get to the rock, which is kind of the main attraction here and uh, the mission for today. Uh, the rock is not only apparently really impressive, but it's also, there, you'll find uh, pictographs uh, in that area too, which we're hoping to hoping to check out. Well, there you go. That must be the start of Mazinar Rock. It looks like a pretty dramatic cliff face. Pretty cool, even from this distance. 
This year is probably one of the uh, one of the busier years for kayaking and canoeing on the lake. There's about six different boat launches. Here is one. Bon Echo Park has three or four, I think. Tappan's Landing on the north end, which is a public access. It has a very good launch, good parking area. And then Brown's Camp at the north end of the lake also offers a boat launch for tourists. I don't know what it is about rock faces alongside a lake or river, but it's like they're magnetic. They just pull you towards them. You have to check them out. It's kind of like I'm a moth and that's the flame. I can't say no. I have to paddle underneath a rock face. Ooh, and that's the rock. Okay, uh, I'm being drawn. <laughs> I can't stop. Uh. I see a Picasso face here. I think that's probably all you can really ask for from a cliff face. Every cliff, if you spend enough time looking at it, you can see all sorts of different things, faces, creatures. It's kind of like looking at the clouds. You know, if you, you sit back, use your imagination, you can see some neat stuff in there. <laughs> I love that angle. Well, we found the first pictograph. I'm not sure what it's telling me, but it's hard to see right now. It's little, it looks like there's a, a person and then I don't really know if it's a pen with livestock. It's hard to tell but uh, it's, it's actually very convenient how it's right at water level. This is cool. It's gonna be, if we, keep our, if we keep our eyes open, we should be able to see these fairly easily. For me, the cool thing about pictographs isn't the actual drawings, although it is cool to see that stickmen are timeless. Uh, it's the fact that someone was here hundreds of years ago, and this is their story that they've left in this amazing place. One of the coolest things about terrain like this is how amazingly hardy the vegetation, the trees that grow on this type of terrain is. I mean, they have virtually no soil. They are subject to the elements all year long. I mean, summer would be hard enough when it's dry and getting beaten on by the sun, but then you got the winter. They're just getting hammered by wind and cold and ice and, but they manage to survive. Makes me think if that cedar can survive in these conditions on the middle of that cliff face, why can't I get my grass to grow in the front yard? Well, you don't expect to see a poem written on a rock wall in the middle of a lake. This one says, Old Walt, 1819 to 1913, I believe. Dedicated to the democratic ideals of Walt Whitman. I need to have a saying etched in granite. Mine would probably, probably be about beer. Well, we've come to the, near the end of the Mazinaw Rock and uh, we found another pictograph. Uh, once again, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on with it, but it's not about what the pictures are. It's about the fact that three to 400 years ago, someone let, told the story and left it on the rocks. And that's what's, what's so amazing. So, uh, you know, we uh, had a beautiful paddle out here, but it's hot out and we got a long way to get back to where we started. So I think it's time to get a move on and prepare for the next adventure. You know, great things come in small packages sometimes. And Bon Echo Park 
and Lake Mazinaw is a perfect example of that. May not be a big park, may not be a huge lake, but it is one of the most beautiful places you're going to go. Definitely worth checking out.